This video will show the installation of a UV Dacron Insignia to a sail. We'll be installing this along the foot and also the leech. We'll also be installing a continuous support tape. To make it easier for our customers, Sailrite provides three kits that accommodate leech and foot measurements when added together of 30 foot, 40 foot, and 50 foot. You can use this chart here as a general reference into what size or width panel you need for the foot and also for the leech. You can also see on this chart the typical boat length for each one of these kits. These three kits include all the materials and instructions needed for you to install the UV Insignia Dacron to your leech and foot. The UV Insignia should be installed on the side of the sail which furls outward. If the sail furls clockwise, the UV Insignia should be installed on the port side. After determining the appropriate panel width, we'll take those panels and cut them to size. The size or length of each one of these width panels is determined by the curve in the sail. The foot of this sail has a fairly sharp curve, so we're going to cut these panel lengths a little bit on the short side so that we can follow that curve easier. You notice here that we're matching up the one panel over top of the other panel by approximately a half inch. It's very important to match up the top edge, not so much the bottom edge, as the bottom edge will be covered with a Dacron UV tape. As you can see in the video, Deb peels back the paper backing to reveal the glue and then carefully bases it down in place as she peels the paper backing off of each one of these panels. Again, these panels are probably only about 20 inches or less. Uh, that way she can follow the shape of this foot. You can see it better in this expanded view. Here she is working on uh, yet another panel and she's going to overlap that by a half inch, making sure the top edge is matched up as we talked about previously. So she'll do that all along the foot edge. We're going to jump ahead to the leech. We've already installed the leech panels and I want you to notice that each one of these leech panels is much longer than the foot panels. That's because there's not as much shape in the leech, or hollow as I should call it. So each one of those panels are longer. Once we've basted those panels to the leech and the foot, we'll take it over to the sewing machine and we'll sew the inner edge. It is wise to use a, a zigzag stitch. If you don't have a zigzag, a straight stitch will work fine as well, but we want to sew along the inner edge first. Here's the leech edge, and there's a 3 16 by about a 3 16 zigzag. If you're doing a straight stitch, just put one row of straight stitches, uh, the longest stitch possible. Here we are at the uh, tack of the sail. We've completed that run along the leech. And then we sew the inner edge of the foot. All right. And now here we come at the finishing at the clue. Okay, no need to reverse and lock your stitch in place. The UV Dacron tapes will cover that and lock that stitch down later. And now we take a straight edge and we mark uh, e between each one of these panel links. This is again the leech edge and we're going just from corner to corner at each one of these uh, panels. This pencil line will help us to guide our zigzag stitch as we secure each one of these panels in place at a later step. Now on this sail along the foot, this is the foot now, we put very small panels so we're actually going to go uh, corner to corner through two panels. I would only suggest doing this if your panels are 20 inches in length or shorter, otherwise go panel to panel. But in this situation they are about uh, 20 inches or so. Then down each one of those panels along where they overlay each other about a half inch so a zigzag down each one of those. Only one row is necessary so you do that along the leech and also down the foot. You can see here how Deb uh, positions the fabric so she can get it in the throat of the sewing machine. She's using the professional 20 and a half inch long arm machine but notice even if you were using an alter feed which works great you don't need a lot of throat space as long as you position the sail as she is here. Okay, Okay. now she goes back to the pencil lines that she drew previously and just sews a zigzag down each pencil line using the pencil line as a guide to keep her stitching straight. So she'll do that on the leech and also on the foot. When she gets to the top of the V or the point, she will bury her needle, she will lift her foot, and she'll pivot on the thickest part of the needle and then lower her foot and continue sewing. That's a good idea to do when you come to a sharp turn in any kind of fabric application. 
We'll be installing a continuous support tape along the lub. So we'll take a piece of UV Dacron tape, install double-sided tape to it, and baste it to the head of the sail here along the luff. This uh, piece of fabric is no more than uh, four to five inches in length. Uh, this is where the uh, continuous support tape will stop. Uh, so once we have that basted along that luff edge, we'll sew that in place with a zigzag stitch. And here is where the continuous support state tape will stop here. So at three inches, she's marked that. And uh, she'll know that that's the starting point for the continuous support tape. Now she'll just sew this four inch or five inch piece of uh, a tape onto the sail with a zigzag stitch along its outer edge. If your machine doesn't do a zigzag, a straight stitch is fine. That's the head at the luff. And now we'll turn the sail around and work on the luff at the foot and we'll put a t uh, piece of Dacron tape there as well. We're putting a mark on the sail at 12 inches. This is how high up that tape will extend. We cut the tape to size. This tape already has the seam stick applied to both edges and this is a pre-folded tape and we just peel off the seam stick, apply the UV Dacron tape to the edge with the double-sided tape and then we'll sew it in place as we did previously at the head. This is the luff edge at the tack. And you can see here Deb's going to fold this over. She first peels back the paper to reveal the glue of the seam stick and then folds it over. After this has been basted down, we'll cut off that uh, tail edge that sticks out to uh, even up this edge. And then we'll take it to the 20 and a half inch long arm professional sewing machine and sew a zigzag along this inner edge of that tape all the way up to that 12 inch position. And she will do a bar tack here at the end of this uh, tape to lock it in place so we do a little bit of reversing there. At the end of this tape we'll mark down approximately an inch. This is where the continuous support tape will stop. We'll now turn our attention to the leech. This is the clue and we've marked the position for the leech line cleat because we are going to have a leech line in this. We are going to install a cleat at that position. And we're going to take some UV Dacron tape and install it along that edge up to that uh, mark, a little bit past the mark actually by a couple inches. Uh, so we're actually going to have a tape stop at that mark. We've put double sided tape on that uh, Dacron tape, peel it off and then place it in over the top of that sail and then we mark that position again where that cleat's going to exit uh, because we can't see it now that the tape covers it. And this is what we'll do in a later step here. Well, this is the cleat for the leech line. We'll sew that tape on as we did the previous tapes, remembering to reverse the beginning and the end. We'll now install the Dacron UV protected tape and you need to fold it in half uh, and then apply double-sided tape to both sides of the tape and baste it along this inner edge uh, being sure that that raw edge of the sail is right in that fold. Once we've applied one side of this tape to the sail we'll insert our leech line into that uh, tape and then we'll uh, baste that side down as well.